welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Eagles and the Ravens, and it comes your way next. It has been a season full of twists and turns, and it all reaches a crescendo here tonight as EA Sports, so proud to welcome you to the marquee event of the NFL calendar, Super Bowl Sunday. The moment is upon us, and we've got what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion, Baltimore Ravens, taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, going to benefit at all. Sixty years of Super Bowls have led us here. More history to be written tonight as we get underway. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's at dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Now a second and ten. Now Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Play action. Now Jackson. The short one there caught by Likely. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by the former Michigan State QB, a starter here in his rookie campaign. And as we know and as we've discussed here in the run-up to this game, this is history in the making. The first rookie quarterback to ever start in a Super Bowl. An absolutely tremendous accomplishment, something no one else has done. But he doesn't want to just go down as the first to make a Super Bowl. He's told us all week he's here to win it. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first play sack, makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They're going to look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by 
his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know. But what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose. And that's what you hear from coaches say. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla. Once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try to prevent that from happening again. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Back to throw again. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll start on the ground, it's Derrick Henry. A solid stiff arm. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Now it's Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And they'll get him down a pickup of eight, second and two. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, but it could have gone for more. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Jackson. That is caught. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? It should be aware, but it's so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. From the gun, it's Jackson. Looking left. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Room to maneuver at the 35. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out.
Appreciate everyone joining us. Super Bowl 60 here tonight. Time to begin the second quarter. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis up in the booth as we get set to resume play. Appreciate everyone joining us. Super Bowl 60 here tonight. Time to begin the second quarter. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis up in the booth as we get set to resume play. Four catches already here in this Super Bowl. He's got another first down. Back to throw here. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. And able to get this out to the 25. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And right now they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. Here's Jackson to throw. A short throw caught by Andrews. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They'll come up now third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now a first carry here for their running back. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 41-yard line. A nice pickup of 17 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. He'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up second down. They'll look to throw again. Wide open receiver complete. And he 
He's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. That one goes for 24 yards. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll drop the throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Eagles! A 14-yard touchdown. And the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. And by association, a bright future for the franchise too. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called can a I think you just called it desperation time. <laughs> I think you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll try the right side with Henry. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Here's Jackson. Steps away to his left. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They go play action with Jackson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half, and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, They've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's thrown touchdown passes on his last two drives as he begins here, first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Back to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 21. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back to throw now on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Touchdown! A great play there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Eagles are starting to open things up here in the Super Bowl. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. 
Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through, pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Elliott Good with a PAT, and a route is on here in this first half. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. To throw is Jackson. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. It's a 45-yard punt, then eight on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with a 24-0 lead already in hand, really no reason to try to do anything too crazy here. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles are starting to pour it on in the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around, they're reading coverages early. So now, they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball, definitely coming from his head coach. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. He's going to go for a big play downfield. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment.
The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half. Because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there, enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it, and they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 11. He'll start with a give to Henry. And they're able to swarm him behind the line. And his rough night continues. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Jackson. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Pushing through the contact. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, 
it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. He'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Second and seven. Now back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 13-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's complete right around the eight. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprising face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. From six yards away. And the Eagles are pouring it on. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron, had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Elliott Good on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Ravens taking the field. The disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook. The bottom line is don't quit competing. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now it's Jackson. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Play action. Now Jackson. Austin is there and brings in another one. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. Now it's Jackson being chased out left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Up next, the biggest quarter of the entire season. At the end of that, we get to crown a champion. We are through three here in Super Bowl 60. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. 
Only one quarter left here in Super Bowl 60 as we get set to begin the fourth. Only one quarter left here in Super Bowl 60 as we get set to begin the fourth. Henry up the middle. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. That's the gain of five. Brings up third and eight. Now Jackson. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. They'll run for it with Henry. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So there's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we're going to get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense, but I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides, but to see the ball in the running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up. Touchdown, Philadelphia! A big play there with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. At the 32-yard line. Jackson from the shotgun. Over the middle, complete. That's Austin. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. 
Throw caught by Flowers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Throwing is Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Austin. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Again, Jackson over the middle. He hits Austin. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And the throw and the catch were just by, but again, zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. The Raven passing game getting in sync, another first down. They go play action now. Jackson. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but... They haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Tucker able to connect on the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi Trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.